Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on data structure. To visit my channel, type www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. In our previous tutorial, we learned about binary tree. And now in this tutorial, I'm gonna tell you a special kind of binary tree called binary search tree. So what is binary search tree? A binary tree is said to be binary search tree if the value of all the nodes in the left subtree is equal or less than the root node and the value of all the nodes of the right subtree is greater than the root node. Here I'm gonna draw a graphical structure of binary tree. All we know binary tree has at most two children. One is called left child and another is called right child. For a recursive structure, left child will be the root of the left subtree and right child will be the root of the right subtree. We can call it as a binary such tree if the value of all nodes of the left subtree is less than or equal to the root node and the value of all the nodes of the right subtree is greater than the root node. So now we can call it as a binary search tree. Here I draw a binary tree. Let's check is it a binary search tree or not. You can see here the value of the root node is 12. And this is the left subtree of 12. The values of the left subtree are 9, 6 and 11. You can see here all the values are less than 12. Now check the right subtree. The right subtree have 15, 14 and 21. They are all greater than 12. This logic or condition is not only true for the root node, but every node of the binary search tree. Let's check for the node 9. Left subtree of 9 is 6. 6 is less than 9. And the right subtree of 9 is 11, which is greater than 9. Now check for the node 15, left subtree of 15 is 14, 14 is less than 15 and the right subtree of 15 is 21, 21 is greater than 15. So now we can say it is a binary search tree. Okay, next we will learn what operation we can perform on binary search tree. There are three operations that we can perform on binary search tree. And they are search, insert, and delete. First, we we'll learn how to search an element in binary search tree. Let's search 14. We compare 14 with the root node. Since 14 is greater than 12, so we proceed to the right child of 12, which is 15. Now, compare 14 with 15. 14 is less than 15. So we proceed to the left child of 15 and we come here. Now compare 14 with this node and the match is found. To search an element in binary search tree, we need log n comparison in average case. So we can say average case time complexity is big O of log n. When we search an element in binary search tree, in each step, space is reduced to half. For example, when we search 14, 14 is greater than 12 and we proceed to the right child of 12 and we ignore this part. Search space is reduced to half. Now we consider only this part. 14 is less than 15, so we proceed to the left child of 15 and ignore the right part. And this procedure is continue until there is only one element in the subtree. If there is n element, then n is reduced to n by 2, n by 4, n by 8, up to 1. If case step is required to compare n elements, then we can write n by 2 to the power k equal to 1. Then n equal to 2 to the power k, or we can write k equal to log n base 2. For a balanced tree, Time complexity is bigger of log n. What is balanced tree? 
A tree is said to be balanced if the difference between height of left and right subtree is not greater than 1. Now I'm gonna draw an unbalanced tree using these nodes. And it looks something like this. You can see here the tree has no left subtree. It has only right subtree. If we search an element, the search space will reduce only one in each step. If the tree has n nodes, then it reduces to n minus 1, n minus 2 till 1. To search an element in worst case, we need n comparison. So we can say worst case time complexity is big O of n. We can design this tree in some other form also. Something like this. Here the tree has no right subtree. It has only left subtree. And the worst case time complexity is big O of n. Next we will learn how to insert an element in binary search tree. To insert an element, first we need to find out the position where to insert the new value or new node. Let's insert 10. First we compare the inserted item with the root node. If it is less than the root node, we proceed to the left child of the root and if the inserted item is greater than the root node, then we proceed to the right child of root. 10 is less than 12, so we proceed to the left child of 12, which is 9. Now compare 10 with 9, 10 is greater than 9, so we proceed to the right child of 9, and we come here. Now compare 10 with 11, 10 is less than 11, so we proceed to the left child of 11. There is no left child of 11. So we insert 10 as left child of 11. Here we just create a link and insert the node. We no need to shifting elements like array. To create a link, we need constant time. So it has the same time complexity as such. Worst case time complexity is big O of n and average case time complexity is log n base 2. Ok, next we'll learn how to delete a node from binary search tree. Deletion of a node from binary search tree is a little bit complicated. There are three cases. A node with no child, a node with one child, and a node with two children. We start with the simplest one, a node with no child. This is a binary search tree. From this tree, we will delete the node with value 2. As you can see here, this node has no child. To delete this node, we need to do two things. First, we delete the link of this node from its parent. So I'm gonna delete this link. As you can see here, this node is detached from the tree. The second thing that we need to do we need to erase this value from the memory and deletion is completed. Case 2. Delete a node with one child. For example, here we delete the node with value 6. This node has only one right child. It has no left child. So I have to delete this node. To delete this node, we link its parent to its child. Something like this. Now remove these links and delete this value. After deletion, the tree looks something like this. Case 3. We will delete a node with two children. Let's delete 17. You can see here it has two children. So how to delete a node with two children? First we delete the value of the node. So I'm gonna delete 17. Now we fill this node with some other value. But we can't choose any arbitrary value. Now the question is how to choose the value. We choose the minimum value from the right subtree of the node. And we fill the node with that value. This is the right subtree of 17. And the minimum value is 20. 
So I'm gonna fill this node with the value of 20. Now we delete 20 from right subtree. Node 20 has no child and we already known how to delete a node with no child. And after deletion the tree looks something like this. There is other possible way also. Instead of choosing a value from right subtree, we can choose a value from left subtree also. In case of left subtree, we will choose the maximum value and fill the deleted node with that value. Maximum value of left subtree is 15. So we write here 15 instead of 17. Now delete 15 from here. And this is the tree after deletion. Time complexity of deletion operation is same as search and insertion, which is bigger of log n base 2. This is it. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please share it and click on the like button on YouTube. I'll be back with another tutorial. Till then, you take care and keep watching.